Nothing makes me feel more alive than opening mail. Okay, well, let's open some of it. I'm Brian Hill from Provo, Utah. Good mythical morning. Good mythical morning. You know what day it is. It's Thursday. And Thursday means mail. Ah. All right, what a great ending. Oh, you can send us stuff to our P.O. Stavis box, and we will get it, and we will read it, and we might put it in the mythical time capsule that will be buried for at least 10 years, maybe 100 years, maybe thousands of years. I don't know if we've gone on record. Maybe if it gets lost, it'll be buried for thousands of years. Dear Rhett and Link, I'm Jacob Wagner. Hello, Jacob. From Mattoon, Illinois. Last night I had a dream about you both and was wondering if you could interoperate it for me. I think he means... Interpret it. Yeah, just like you meant Illinois. The dream starts off in a swamp, and you guys, me, and some other people I don't know, were walking on a dock through a swamp. We got it, it's a swamp. It was insanely beautiful in the swamp, <laughs> with a lot of greens and yellows and a bunch of tall swamp trees, because I dream in high definition, apparently. Hmm. I know no other way. Some people dream black and white, do they not? Dogs. Rhett was talking about how he grew up in the swamp, which was Alabama. Is that true? No. This is a dream. See, he, if, he, if he knew you personally, he oh, would know it was a this dream. Is in the, maybe I did in the dream world, I don't know. And Jacob continues, I was telling him how I <laughs> wanted to live there because it was so awesome. Rhett stopped and looked at me and said, no, you don't, in all seriousness, which made me very confused. Out of nowhere, some police officers showed up and yelled, hey! I turned to you both, and you just took off sprinting and dove into the water, and you both swam away and disappeared under the water while I was brutally handcuffed and taken to jail. It was the weirdest dream I've ever had. What does it mean? Sincerely, a confused mythical beast. Okay, Jacob, you want to know what it means? I think I know. Think you, you think you know what it means? Well, first of all, pretty clear. just for starters, <clears throat> never go to an Alabama concert with the two of us. That's what I would say. I would say that. That's that's the underlying theme here. Don't but, don't see the country music band known as Alabama with us in a swamp. Uh, here, this is actually. I I think that what's going to happen is in the next five years, Jacob, someone probably someone who's very out of touch with what is actually cool now is going to invite you to an Alabama concert in Louisiana, probably New Orleans. So you're saying this dream is a premonition? Oh yes, it's telling the future. All dreams are. These two guys. One short, I mean, one normal, what? one tall short. and one normal size. Are gonna, it won't be us. You're just projecting your, your future onto us. We'll invite you to an Alabama concert. Don't go. I'm telling you now, I told you in a dream. Don't go because what's going to happen is you're going to go there. Something's going to get out of hand. They're going to be the reasons that you should be arrested. They're going to get away. You will be arrested. You will be put in jail. I, that sounds great, but I mean, I think it could just simply, I mean, there's cops, there's abandonment. I think it just may be, you know, issues with uh, authority and fear of abandonment that you may need to deal with. Oh, that's no um, um, Talk to your parents or loved ones about that, Jacob. I want to thank Jane from Michigan for sending us what she calls a plushy version of Belvedere, the cockatrice. It, it kind of looks like a really cool Christmas ornament. I'm just going to hook it in such a way as to not use it as bait, but put it on a Christmas tree instead of putting it in a time capsule because I want to keep it. You have thing. to hook it in a way that doesn't cause pain, so you hook it through the thing on the, the top. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jennifer, for sending an easel with the Red Link logo on it. I will paint very small pictures on this easel. Thank you, Valerie, for sending us an, a magnet that says fart sake on it. If you if you know the 100th episode of GMM season one, I, I saw this actual license plate in real life. It says fart sake. Now, thank you to Malcolm uh, for sending us a Pentium 4 processor. He thought this would be a good thing to put into the time capsule. And Brilliant. I, I think it's a pretty good idea because this represents a moment in time and also if Te it, in technology If this time. is discovered, in like a post-apocalyptic post time, and all technology is lost, this could be the key to the survival of mankind and the progression into the future and technology. 
Way to go, Malcolm. Or I might just swallow it. <laughs> no, we'll put that in the Mythical Times capsule. I want to thank Crystalline for sending um, her favorite album on vinyl, which happens to be Merle Haggard's Oki from Muskogee. She says you can put this in the Times capsule because it represents brilliant music. I'm going to use the term a lot today, brilliant. But the brilliant thing about this is I cannot put this in Time capsule. I collect Merle Haggard Albums. It's also too big. I mean, it had to be a large tube. No, this is amazing. There. So this is staying with me. If you want to send anything Merle Haggard related to us, we will love you forever. Just like I love Crystalline forever. Uh, Christina from Blacksburg, Virginia, yeah. sent a finger puppet that is a zebra. But the, this finger puppet link has a story. Okay. This is a zebra finger puppet that I was hoping could be included in the time capsule. And here's a fictitious story that she made up about him, or it could be real, I don't it's know. Fictitious. He grew up like any other limbless, torsoless zebra, I suppose, playing reindeer games and horsing around. That is, until he saw your dope zebra video. It was then that he knew his purpose. He was meant to dance. Long story short, he moved to America, ended up in a shoebox in my basement, and invent intends and wants to be in your time capsule. Christina, you need to work on your print handwriting. His idea is that if you put him in the time capsule in the future, when the aliens dig it up, they can give him fully functioning limbs and torso so he can dance. His name is Bertram. Only you can make his dreams come true. And you know what? I'm putting the pressure on. I think it's easy. I think it's easy. Let's put him in the time capsule. I, yeah, that's easy. Enough. After I have a little fun with him, you know. So aliens in the future will have the ability to give bodies to disembodied finger puppets. Well, everybody knows that. Okay, here's a, here's a great one here. This is this is for the time capsule. It's from Lindsay S. Uh, Louise, I don't know. She I can't read what that says. Louise Sampsonite, Sampsonite. on YouTube. She she sent a birthday card. Well, it's my birthday. No, it's Coming not. Up. This is not for you. This is for aliens who dig up the time capsule. What? That's what it says, dear aliens. It is a time-honored tradition in 21st century United States, among other places on Earth, to send birthday cards like the one you are reading to family and loved ones to commemorate the day he or she was born. See, this is brilliant, as I'm saying a lot today. If you would like to celebrate our customs of antiquity, hmm. I have included the lyrics to the happy birthday song as well as a recipe for cake, an honored dessert. Honored. Enjoy. And and here we go. Lyrics to Happy Birthday for I'm, the Aliens. I know those. You can't sing that because if you sing that, then we'll... I'm not going to sing it, but... Copyright, I, all of it. Yeah. She it's noted, ugly. to be sung after candles are lit. Yeah, well, these, in the these are aliens. They don't know what's up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear... Insert name. Question in the ether. Happy birthday That's to you. That's an alien name. This is, that is smart. That is going in the Thank you to all the mythical beasts who sent us Lindsay. things. And of course, it wouldn't be a male Thursday without a random episode of Time Ranger. -er -er. Time Rangers! Hey, man. Hey. What you doing? Uh, just listening to a CD. Uh, okay. Hey, you know that time machine gazebo thing that we kind of time travel in sometimes? Yeah. Over there? Yeah, the one over there. Okay. You want to go to it? Not really, because every time we get in it, somebody gets hurt. So oh. I'm staying here, man. Look, first of all, it's not really that big of a deal. We always recover. And secondly, this time, I have a weapon. What? Yeah. Hot. I couldn't hear you because I was listening to my CD. Hot coffee. Hot coffee. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go to the gazebo. Mm. Okay. Let's check it out. All right, here we are. Listen, let's do this one thing though. Let's think of the same thing so we know where we're gonna go and not it's not left up for grabs. Okay, we'll think about what you wanna think about. I wanna go to first century Rome, dude. Okay. It's like a tourist town. <laughs> okay, first century Rome. Three, here we go. Two, one. <sighs> Rome, yep, baby, Rome. here we it are. Worked. Look, over there. Over there? Yeah, over there. It's like the Colosseum, freshly built, man. Okay, you want to go to it? Absolutely, let's go. Okay, let's go. Look at this. This yeah. is like some kind of... Sorry, I need to be moving my mouth. Yeah, we're, we're I'm still... I'm not thinking... I'm not tele telepathically communicating with nope. you. Nope, gotta move that We're going through like a VIP entrance of some kind. Yep, let's do it. It's, it's black like a in tunnel. here. Black in this tunnel. You thirsty or something? Yeah, I love this coffee. All right, here we are. 
Wow, look at this thing, man. Listen, everybody's cheering for us. Yeah. Um, I don't think they're cheering for us. I think they're cheering for that gladiator over there that's coming at us. Over there? Yeah, right there. Right there. This guy, right here. He's up in front of us right now. Oh my goodness. Are you not entertained? Uh, uh well, I... Coffee! Kind coffee! Of... Th 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 throw your coffee on him, man! Uh, I'm out. Ah! Uh, well, I'm hit him with my CD! Ah! No, he's getting me in the legs with his... Let's get back to the gazebo! Ah! This, this way. All right, let's, oh yeah, okay, we got one more thing here. Aaron Waters sent the Epic Ninja Star Duel. And this is a box full of ninja stars that he created that we are going to use as a secret spot on the wheel. So if it lands on well, one of those. it's not very secret anymore, because now we've, we've, we've seen it. Yeah, but I mean, it, I thought it was such a great thing that he mailed to us that we could we battle it out. A special spot. Dance Gangnam style. Oh, oh, oh. Let's let the uh, finger puppet dance too. Oh, 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 oh. Gangnam style. Gangnam style. Gangnam style. Now go to the left. Now go to the right. Oh, oh you said I'm not good. I can get some more horse. It would probably be better with music. Well, we'll put that in. Is there music? 